Hi, welcome to the red carpet. I'm Alexis Rodriguez. And I'm me, also known as Carolyn Benton. And if you don't already know what this show is about, well then, prepare yourselves for the latest celebrity news, gossip, movies, music, and more. Then we're going to debate if we would tap last week's guest and talk about the top 10 celebrity siblings. So you should pull your chairs closer and um, get ready for a jam-packed, awesome show. If you remember last week, all the deals going down in Hollywood, and we also had a local celebrity guest, Sammy Kay, from Hot 99.5, which I hope you all are listening to now. Today's show is going to be all about who's breaking up and who's making up. And for an extra hour, we're going to have a treat. Wait, it's not an extra hour, is it? For an extra hour, you mean for an, <laughs> for an extra, extra treat. treat. <laughs> we have a hilarious music video to entertain you with. And we still have a few, uh, few tickets and awesome nifty gifties. So if you want to get a hold of some of the few that we have left, then call us at the extension 2222 uh, or email us at theredcarpet.atv <laughs> at gmail.com. Now let's get to the latest gossip. Jennifer Aniston may finally have a new man in her life. It is rumored that Aniston is dating Orlando Bloom. The two were seen at Eva Longoria's new restaurant, Biso, in Hollywood last weekend. I wish it were true because, honestly, she really needs to stop being the third wheel, okay? You know what I mean. But it's highly unlikely due to the reports of Orlando Bloom and model Miranda Kerr getting hot and heavy leading to a confirmed relationship status just a couple of weeks ago. That's funny because the talk last month was that Bloom was dating Bruce Willis's <gasps> eldest daughter. Little rumor and we all saw how that proved to be so very false. Another horrible rumor floating around is about the late Heath Ledger having a secret love child. His estranged uncle revealed that when Ledger was 17, which is really young, he had an affair with a 25-year-old woman. However, the mysterious woman was in a relationship with another man, obviously, at the same time. She was also involved with Ledger, and her affair with him ended before she discovered she was pregnant. My question is, why is the uncle the one with the claim and not the alleged mother? It's been kept a secret for over 10 years, and the only reason it would be important now is to get money from Ledger's estate to care for the child. The love child. <laughs> the love child. So there's no benefit for the uncle making these claims. I say, let Heath Ledger rest in peace. Gosh, people. He died two months ago now, and, he's, and his name is still plastered on tabloid headlines. Can we please let's just remember him for the talented actor that he was and leave the rest alone? Agreed. One last rumor in the air is that pregnant Jamie Lynn Spears is engaged to her baby's daddy, Casey Alderidge. Sources tell People Magazine that she has been showing off an engagement ring ever since she got knocked up. There have been rumors that tie the knot. But on the opposite end of the spectrum, there have also been rumors that not only were they broken up, but Aldridge was not even the father. Some sources claimed it was, in fact, an older man who worked behind the scenes of her Nickelodeon hit, Zoe 101. Many sources say Spears' engagement is confirmed, but I still have my doubts. She's only 16. Which is really young, obviously. There's no rumor in this story. Serena Williams and Common are officially a hot new item. There has been a buzz since last November that these two were canoodling, but the couple finally made it public. 
Another new couple is Family Guy creator Seth McFarlane and True Calling star Eliza Dushku. I personally think they make a cute couple. Score one more for the kittens. <laughs> Young girls and old guys is always creepy, especially when it's like a big age range. You know what I mean. So anyways, especially when also they're mistaken for your father, which is just creepy. Like this weekend when Hulk Hogan's hot blonde date was mistaken for his 19-year-old daughter only a month ago. He was hooking up with the friend. And now a look-alike? Oh my gosh, I don't like where this is heading. It, it looks like it's heading to the south. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh, it was only a week ago when Kamora Lee Simmons filed for divorce from husband Russell Simons. Yet Russell has already been seen out with a new woman. He's now dating Portia Coleman, but it's no surprise the music mongol landed a new girl so quick. I mean, if 12 girls are willing to fight over Flava Flav, then Russell Simmons should never have to worry about being single for more than 24 hours. Divorce must be in the air because Robin Williams' wife of 19 years has filed for divorce. And Williams definitely, definitely is hurting. He showed up at JFK Airport wearing a t-shirt with a knife through a heart. Sorry, that's just really sad, okay? Remember, Robin, laughter is the best medicine. You taught us that in Patch Adams. From old love to young love, two young lovers have called it quits. American Idol winner Carrie Underwood and Gossip Girl star Chase Crawford are both single and ready to mingle. There is no info on the why, but if Crawford cheated, he better hide his car. Hell yeah, he better hide her or she's going to take a key to his car. If you know the song, you know what I mean. Anyways, wonderful, wonderful news. The new kids on the block are reunited. Though this was rumored earlier in the year, it is now official. All five original members of the band will be appearing on the Today Show on April 4th, which is this Friday. I am so excited, as you can tell. Although, do we really need to start boy bands up again? Literally, please, let's not, okay? Last Friday, Jessica Simpson checked into a hospital due to a kidney infection. She was kept over the weekend only for observation and has since been released. Hope you feel better, Jessica. I'm sure T.I. would rather be in the hospital than be gangbanged in jail. <laughs> he will be serving a year in jail for pleading guilty to federal weapon charges. Part of the sentence will require T.I. to talk to kids about saying no to guns, drugs, and gangs as community service. I'm hoping that uh, they actually believe him. It's now time for a break, but don't go anywhere. Yeah, because when we get back, uh, we'll be debating whether or not we would tap or, yeah, tap the uh, guest celebrity from last week, if you remember who he was, and dish all the dirt on new movies. And later, we'll have Will Ferrell and Britney Spears and a new video and the YouTube clip of the week.